Hey, peeps, and welcome back to Pixark. Uh, yeah, for some reason, all, like all of you wanted me to do another video on this. I have never seen so many of you say you wanted another video on something other than, you know, the typical ARC series. So, you know what? We're doing it. We're making another video on this. Last time we left off, we had our Bob, we had made our house, and we had just tamed this pretty high-level Trinidon with a very nice trick shot from our bow. And now I'm not really sure what to do. I guess we can maybe check out this, this uh, drop that's either upcoming or already here. And maybe we could work our way to getting a raptor or something like that in this episode. So the raptor saddle is a little expensive. It's a level 30 saddle and we are, we're nine levels away from that. So we've still got a decent amount of stuff to do before we can afford to get a raptor saddle. But let's go ahead and come over here and see, has this drop landed? Entering a moderately dangerous area, the deep ocean. Okay, I like that it tells you what biome you're in, entering a less dangerous area. Okay, so now we're in a river. That's actually really cool. I love the information panel on the top left there. I know you can kind of do that in art. Ooh, speaking of raptors, it's a raptor just absolutely dunking on <laughs> one of the turtles. All right. Uh, okay, so I, you peeps told me that getting a Pariser early on was actually a really good idea because apparently they're really strong and also passive tames. We can kind of... Use this to scout for high-level raptors. Oh, this is OP. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Maybe not as OP as I thought. Let's not get too low. We have to definitely manage our stamina because if we run out of stamina, we're screwed. It's a re level 74 raptor, a 56. I definitely want to try and get a high-level raptor. The day it on there. We might. We probably won't be able to get this drop heaps. There's so many just bad creatures here. Let's go back over here. What level even is the Daedon saddle? I still have to get really used to this engram menu. It's still so bizarre, especially a leather helmet. Ooh. Oh, we can get into leather stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes. I wish there was an easier way, but I guess double clicking isn't that annoying. And yeah, let's go look for a Daedon saddle. So that would be in plants and tame. Yeah, saddles. But yeah, it's really annoying that they don't display the full saddle. You have to kind of guess what they are. So I think I think this is the day it on. It's level 30, just the same as the raptor, which is so weird to me. Oh, whoa, what is this stuff? A dodo nest? Can protect them and their eggs. Oh, what? And a feeding pot? Oh, that's how you make kibbles. Okay. And a dino tracker. Yeah, this is really cool. I want to know what a thorny boar is. What's a thorny boar? That's so weird. Because this looks like it's thorny lizard. So what's a thorny boar? We've got a dolphin saddle here. And then also we've got the metallurgy stuff, which we might want to try and upgrading to suit. I want to try magic, honestly. Like I want to know what a magic wand is and the ice spear, but that's that's all level 30. So we can't do anything with that. So for now, it doesn't look like we can really do anything. Let's go ahead and make up that, that leather armor stuff that we just learned. We'll have a little bit more defense, which is nice because the things here hit kind of hard. You peeps told me this game was actually surprisingly difficult, which is worrying for <laughs> how just, you know, cute and adorable it is. I did not expect a hard game to come out of this, but I guess we'll just have to see. Oh, wow. Look, there's another one of those destroyed churches or whatever on this side as well. Okay. Uh Oh, there's a green. Is that a green drop? That is a green drop. All right, but let's go ahead and check out this white drop, because even if we really want to get that green drop, there's too many raptors. Oh, this is new territory, peeps. I haven't been over here yet. Oh, snap. What new things shall we find? Oh, this is a green drop. All right. Well, are we at the level for a green drop? What's what? What's over here? Oh, this is weird. Oh, this place is def like this is magical stuff over here. Oh, my God. An Araneo. Oh, the air nail looks so much worse in this. Oh, oh no. All right, but at least this drop is kind of safe. Let's go ahead and see what this... Oh, we need to be level 25, dude. I, what am I, 24? I'm oh, 21. Okay, so it's at least it's not as bad. Oh my gosh. I, I kind of want to try and kill the air nail, peeps. Oh, oh, is that an Iguanodon? It is. It's a level 8. Awesome. So most herbivores are apparently passive tames. Oh, there's a desert over there. Oh, cool. Okay, let's uh, let's see how much damage our C-spin does. All right, that's a, a fire spider. Oh, dude, our spin does so much. Oh, yes. All right, we have to be careful because that does take a hefty toll on our stamina. Did it hit us? Did it do 100 damage to us? I think it did. 
All right, we can only do that like one or two more times. Okay, let's go with land for stamina. Is that another spider right there? No, that's a turtle. All right, let's go way over here because it is chasing us. Dude, the music's so intense right now. Whoa. The immediate snapping of the head to look in a different direction, though. All right. Stamina's looking pretty good. A fire spider. I wonder if that means it'll set us on fire. What is that? Oh, puffers. Okay. Interesting. Smack. I bet we'll get a lot of levels if we manage to kill this thing. I really want to do it. I can't believe it's taking so much damage. I guess it is a 76, but... I don't know, it's it's only a spider, right? But I guess I guess that doesn't really matter in this. I can't treat it like a basic Araneo. This seems to be a pretty tough enemy, actually. Uh, is it tameable? I actually do want to scan it really quickly. Alright, stay here. Let's let's go ahead and try and scan it. Alright, get that away. You. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at its melee is maxed. Are you tameable? It it, it I can't stop. Let me look at this. It is tameable. What do you need for it? Why wow, you? It, it's, it recommends steel stuff for it. Holy heck! All right, so that's that's quite a tanky creature. Apparently, I still want to try and kill it though. Whoa, bam! I'm worried about in the water. Like if we hit the water, that'll dismount us, and then we're dead. <laughs> Dude, it is so tanky. It's so tanky. It's taking so many hits. Oh god, I killed the dragonfly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, we got it! We got it! We unlocked the spyglass! All right, can we harvest things? Here, can I, can we do, th yeah, we can! We are getting chitin. Okay, cool. And we unlocked a workbench and a spyglass. Oh, fire magic stones? Okay, yeah, that's definitely like a kind of higher level creature because we're getting magic stuff from it. Oh my goodness. We're getting a lot of magic and a, and a decent amount of chitin. Oh, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and unlock our new things. Obviously, we want a workbench. We don't really care for a die workbench. Flame arrows. Wow, that looks actually pretty strong, and that's not bad to make either. Okay, let's unlock those, but let's also get that spyglass made. Yes. So we need, oh, we need copper, and I'm guessing three glass. That's what that is. All right, well, Flappy 100% got three levels for that, so let's put one into health. I guess all three into health. Oh, I really wanted to get him to 500 health. Very tragic. But yeah, let's get back to base, drop off those fire stones, make that workbench, and see if we can maybe get a spyglass. Alrighty, so now we have a ton of fire arrows. Oh, that's, oh, cool. We can like draw with it almost. Uh, before we leave, let me go ahead and take out these fire gems. I have no idea what they're used for, but I wanna just go ahead and put them in storage just in case they are uncommon. And boop, boop. Uh, I guess we'll also put away that stuff. Now we need glass so we can make glass. Yeah, that's pretty easy. We just need sand. What is this? Gasoline. A we need to get a barrel of oil. Okay. And yeah, definitely copper ingots. So we need to find copper ore and glass. Interesting. Well, we did see that desert. So we could go ahead and, you know, obviously go to that desert. Oh, nice. Can we level you up? 500, perfect. Now we can start leveling up your other stats. But yeah, we can go to that desert. And then I guess we're also gonna have to go mining peeps. I also wanna check out the level of the raptor that was over here as well, cause it's a good raptor then. It, okay, sky raptor. I guess that's how things just spawn in. Cause I've seen so many, uh, we're gonna have to kill this Daedon. All right, Daedons have about 700 health. So this shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Yep, that's a dead Daedon. Go ahead and land you to gain back stamina. And I guess that's that raptor. We don't have to check it out. Oh, no, it was this raptor. And it's got, like, that alpha glow. No one told me what that means, but I'm assuming that I was correct and that it gives extra experience because it doesn't look like... That means we can't tame it. So it's not, like, an arc alpha. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. And level 48. Okay. So, so far, we haven't seen any really high-level raptors, which is kind of unfortunate. We have leveled up again, though. Now we are, oh, oh, dang, if that green drop was still here, we could have gotten that. Let's go ahead. It's so weird not being able to level speed because that's where most of my levels go in uh, in arc. So I guess we'll level up crafting speed a little bit just so we can craft things quicker. Oh, there is a green drop here. Okay, but can we get it though is is the is the question. Oh, it's a Bezo Buffo. There are frogs. All right, I think, I think we can get this. There's an Iguanodon stuck in the ground over here. Hello. You are a level 46, and it's also a passive tame. So yeah, most of the herbivores seem to definitely be passive tames. All right, what are we getting from this? Magic stone, oh! An apprentice copper sword, that's awesome. And a saddle, frog saddle. 
and a western storage box box blueprint blueprint of a rare structure that's so interesting okay well let's go ahead and equip that sword because yes please we can finally get rid of these spears and how do i learn this blueprint do i just oh use item there we go cool i'm guessing that's like a just a cooler looking storage box what level is this raptor 18 okay well first let's go ahead and get the oh this looks like a cave nope what so what is a cave and what's not a cave in this game i have no idea there's a lot of cool things in here a lot of mushrooms which is very interesting doesn't really help us now unless oh do frogs have torpor in this i have no idea let's uh let's start looking for some strong bezel buffer though because we did just get one of their saddles uh 86 that's pretty decent there's another day on and another raptor over here oh literally a basic raptor though all right but here is what the heck was that is that a did a loot item just drop that looks like loot you're only a level yeah you're an 18 raptor i want to go ahead and kill you real quick oh my god dude that that, that level 18 raptor did 60 damage oh this pumula scorpy oh that's cool that's cool let's level up your damage and do i have level also from that no okay i'm about to level up but what is this what what are these there's loot oh it's just their inventory okay but that's so cool i like that it drops in a very nice looking ch chest Ooh, a raptor claw okay hopefully this oh th there's a temple oh look at this cave this is really cool yeah so is this map randomly generated because if it is that'd be really cool Oh, wow. There's like a temple over here. Oh, oh, the music is so different. That's 100% a cave. All right, we're going to have to check that out. Uh, I don't know if I want to land, but it looks safe. All right, let's go ahead and get some sand. Oh, okay, good. I was like, I don't know if I need a shovel for this or not. All right, let's get, let's get like 50 sand. There we go. All right, is that a stack? Where, where is it? Oh, I don't like that it adds things to your hotbar first. And now we need to go into this cave. What is this? Okay, so this is just kind of like a sandstone cave. I want to know what this temple is. Wow. See, this is cool. Oh. Oh, wait. Entering a less dangerous Percoptodon! It's running away from something. Whoa, mantis. There's mantis. Oh, it didn't even look like a mantis, but I knew it was because of the sound. All right, so let's not mess with mantis. Oh, this is a bit of a dark cave. All right, a moderately dangerous area. I don't like that we can't really see. What on earth are you? It's got like a creepy smile. Petroleum slime? All right, well, I'm guessing that's where we get like gasoline and stuff. Oh, this place is scary. Oh, there's like, are there like Onik in here? Oh. Why? Why is there battle music? I'm in a peaceful state. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't I don't like it. What is this? Is this coal or something? No, this is still flint. We need to, we need something that lights up caves. I need to go get a firefly or something, because you peeps told me that even though it said they aren't tameable, firefly are actually tameable. But let's go back to base again. Try and grab a firefly. Oh, let's not get lost. Where am I? Uh-oh. Okay, wait, I think it's this way. Okay. Oh! Yeah, I really need to keep my sense of direction. It's not easy to keep up with where you are in a pixel, ooh, excuse me, in a pixelated world. What level is this frog though? Hello, Beezle Buffo, 58, not wanted. All right, light fire and craft all the metal. Amazing, we'll keep that Beezle Buffo saddle on us just in case we find a high level that we want to tame. We do have a decent amount of sleepy arrows and I still don't know what these are, so I'm gonna go, wait. This powder is full of light energy. It doesn't deal damage, but it can heal. Oh, but it requires staffs. Okay, so these are like ammo for staffs, I'm assuming. Okay, that makes sense. But right now, not 100% useful for us. And it's also turning night. Oh, oh, that actually looks really nice. Like the light shining through. Okay, Pixar, show off. Can we sleep? We cannot sleep. Uh, okay, well, uh, oh, there's a firefly. Okay. So not, oh wait, it is tameable. All right, is that a passive tame? What does a firefly need to tame it? Hello, firefly. Oh, ma just a medjo berry. All right, I will call you nightlight. Sweet. Now, are you like a shoulder? Oh, oh, okay, that's just the obelisk. I thought it was a red drop. Where is it? Where, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. This, I mean, as great as this is, not as useful as I was hoping it would be. I also want to test out the damage of one of these. Uh, let's let's kill this poor dodo. Maybe this one. What? Oh, was that a headshot or is that just how much this does? Holy heck! All right, either way, that's really good. Okay, so can we make like a like a a jar with a flashlight or a, a firefly in it? We, we can make torches, I guess. Candles. Wait, can, didn't I? Wasn't I able to make some sort of helmet that can that has a light in it? We can make a no diggers hammer. When did I even learn that? I have no idea, but that sounds amazing. Yeah, here it is, candle helmet. So we need. Oh, all right, heck, we gotta go here. I don't like that we can't view stuff in the engram menu. So we need leather, cloth, hat, chitin. Wait, do we do we not have chitin? That that's a different picture. No, F. We do have chitin. Okay, so give me that. Give me that. Um, we could just make another cloth hat real quick. Oh, okay, so that's like a different kind of chitin. Because I have 13 chitin, but it says that we don't have 13 chitin. Uh, okay. Unfortunate, I guess. That seems like it would have been really useful. I have no idea what other... Maybe, maybe it means keratin? I've got no idea. But now that we have our little firefly friend anyway, I guess we should just try and go caving again? Maybe there's... Oh, wait, there was a cave literally right here. Yeah, so if we die, it won't be too big of a deal. Hopefully that shadow leopard isn't still here. I'm so sad. I got super jump scared by that shadow leopard, but the clip didn't make it into the final video. I have no idea why. All right, let's let's uh, let's go down here with our pteranodon. A moderately dangerous area. Okay, so we're in the magic forest biome right now. This is still all dirt. So this isn't a proper cave yet. Okay, I'm not seeing any... Well, there's stone here, but I'm not seeing copper. I'm not sure how resources spawn in this. So nothing here, but I remember, yeah, right here, it goes like incredibly deep. Oh, wow, yeah, that's really deep. All right, we're in a proper cave now, peeps. Still in the magic forest biome. Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. It's like a genuine massive cave. I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> it's still sandy though. Wait, what is this? Is this water? Oh, this is water. Okay, that makes sense as to why it looks so weird then. I don't I don't really want to get off of my pteranodon because I'm scared. <laughs> and I want to be able to fly away quickly. So this is like a sand cave because there's just, or a, I guess, dirt cave. This is probably dirt and not sand. It just keeps going though. Okay. When are we going to start hitting stone? Because obviously copper would probably be in stone. It keeps going deeper. This is so weird. It's so weird seeing like, I guess not caves, but wait, what is this? This looks weird. I guess it's just a plant, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a rare plant and people are going to yell at me for not picking it. Oh, <gasps> here we go. Okay, so this, this stuff is material. Are we good? Okay, Floppy had to poop. That's why he stopped. I hear Onik, but that's just cave ambience. All right, here we go. Let's see what this is. Oh, I can't mine this, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have a strong enough pickaxe. Okay, so I'm guessing that's ruby or some sort of magical device. Oh my gosh. All right, it's so hard to see. This is genuinely kind of like terrifying. <laughs> oh man. Thankfully there's no cave creatures or we're just getting lucky and none are spawning. But unfortunately for us, this, does, this seems to be like kind of a dirt cave and not a stone cave. So I don't think we're going to see any copper in here. <gasps> oh, spider. Hello. A gem spider. Female giant claw mole. That's a six danger level creature. Here's a little shadow leopard over here. I think that's a shadow leopard. Yep, that's a shadow leopard. There's another fire spider. All right, let's get out of here. This This isn't what we need. A terror bird. That's 100% a terror bird. Okay, so terror birds are only level four dangerous. That's so bizarre. What is this creature over here? Oh, it's a turtle. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, is that a goblin? Hello? What are you? Oh, you're definitely hostile. It is a goblin. That's so weird. It's so weird seeing like humanoid NPCs along with the with the uh, dinosaurs. Very bizarre. Ooh, goodbye, Percoptodon. <laughs> oh, that poor Percoptodon just jumped into a pit. All right, something tells me we shouldn't hang out over here. 
What is this? Oh, 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 dude, that Arthur looks crazy. Somehow that Arthur looks scarier in this than it does in actual arc. A Morella tops? Cool. That is really cool, actually. All right, Arthur, don't aggro onto me. I want to see what this stuff is. Can I? I can't even mine this. I don't think. Wow, we really need to upgrade then. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. We de yeah, we definitely need to get some copper tools because this is not working. There's something red and glowing over here. Up here, maybe it's something inside. Yeah, it might be something inside whatever structure this is, and it's just kind of shining outside of the walls. Here's another cave though. Procoptodons. Okay, those guys are passive, thankfully. All right, we've got another actual, wow, this is like a small cave entrance here, but it's a massive cave again. Okay, all right, I really need to find some copper ingots, or just ore. A lot of flint or whatever this other stuff is. Hopefully the copper veins are just as huge as these flint veins are, because that would be very nice. Oh, what is this? You guys see this? This is something new, right here? Looks kind of like gold to me, honestly. Are we safe? <laughs> it's hard to tell. I think we might be okay. Can't mind that either. Oh my gosh. There's something blue over here? Okay, I guess we'll try and mine this. Oh, wow. Okay, there's no way we're going to be able to see that clearly when we get over there. But that, that is a massive cave. I keep, how many times have I said massive cave? Dang it. You just can't mine things all that well in this. Is that a retina? No, that's the obelisk. All right. Let's uh, head on over here. It's, it's gonna get dark as we approach. What does copper look like? like? Was that a ghost? Okay, there's zombies and skeletons over there and another goblin it looks like. Oh, this is not okay, peeps. Oh, I think this is copper. I think that's copper. I think we just found copper. Are we safe? Relatively, I think. Okay. Oh, oh. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? You're gonna get wrecked. I, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. I have a dinosaur and you're just a stupid goblin. Get wrecked. Yeah, stay in your hole, nerd. <laughs> All right, we need to get this copper really like, quickly. Are we safe now? The battle music is going off. Please, no, wrong one. First person. Yes, come on, come on. How much, how much are we gonna get from this? Six. Oh, it's just one? Please tell me there's more under this. No. Oh, gosh. All right. At least at least we don't just get one for it, though. Well, that's nice. There's a, there's, the, the outside is right there. How come the outside light isn't shining into this cave? Okay. A dung beetle? We could potentially get a dung beetle. I don't know what that would really be useful for. But also, it doesn't look like we need to be on stone for resources to appear. So I guess that's... Nice, because we haven't really found a lot of just pure stuff. Here's more. <gasps> Two more things of copper here. Are we good? Are we safe? Okay. Oh, there's more copper up ahead as well. Okay, we have found a lot of copper. Okay, this is really good. This is really good, peeps. Oh, finally, we can upgrade. Oh, man, there's lava? Yeah, this is straight up lava, and it's still dark. <laughs> oh, there's a scorpion over here. Maybe we can get the scorpion to fall into the lava. That'd be kind of hilarious. Also a dung beetle. Hello, scorpion. What danger level is a scorpion, actually? Oh, oh! I don't want to get like torpor. I don't know how strong the torpor is. Oh, oh. Okay, never mind. I was like, oh, cool. They could just exist in the lava, but they certainly cannot. I'm not seeing any more copper. Let's not aggro that scorpion if we don't have to. There's more lava here. What is that? A male mega rock dragon. That is a high, high danger level. I want to scan it though. Can we land anywhere? I really want to scan it. Will we be safe over here? A mega rock dragon. I mean, yeah, that's an accurate name. It definitely looks like a mega rock dragon. It's a level 16 male wild doom lands outer. The doom, all right. Oh God, we're in the doom lands. Okay, so it is tameable though. That's crazy. If we were able to tame that, that would be Kind of wild. I don't, I have no idea how we'd get it out of here though. Uh, it looks like crystal right there, but I'm not looking for crystal. Oh, there's, there's the exit. Okay, thank goodness. I was actually kind of lost in this cave. What is this creature? Oh, is that a Dodic? Little Dodic? Dodicarus? You're stuck in the wall, whatever you are. What are you? Hello? Are, oh, straight up armadillo. 
It's a passive tame. And it's a... Okay. So it's only found in caves. It's a pretty decent, like, threat level as well. Okay. How much... How many copper do we have? Ah, uh, 24? I don't... I don't feel like that's enough. There's a lot of armadillo in here, though. So we're in the Doomlands now, which is kind of scary. Oh. What is that? I'm sorry. You want to run that by me again? What are you? And why do you look terrifying? What are you? It's like got multiple faces. Oh, God. The scan scared me. A fire elemental? Yeah, it's just a fire elemental. Okay. I have a feeling that thing can fly. So I'm very glad that it, it hasn't gotten out. Oh, gosh. All right. I should probably leave the cave. Yeah. These caves are getting a bit dangerous for my liking. Let's go ahead and get back to that exit and just get out of here. All right, what are the Doomlands like? Oh, this definitely this definitely looks like a Doomlands over here. What? Is that a Minotaur? That is a straight up Minotaur. Can we tame a Minotaur? Can I tame you? Untamable. What? There's an ogre! It's a Cyclops! Minotaur's looking at me. What are you? A fell hunter. Are you tameable? That is tameable. Or no, it isn't. I have no idea. Oh, turtle. <laughs> Alright, doom lands are definitely doomy. A lot of doom here. Let's uh not. Oh, here's another one of those buildings. I saw skeletons in here when I jumped in last time. Yeah. So there's like ghostly skeletons. I'm not sure if it's even worth fighting them, so I'm not. Not until we have, I guess, copper armor at least. Oh man. This place is weird, peeps. We're seeing so many new biomes. Like, here's a mushroom forest. What is this place called? Oh, is that a Carno? That is a Carno. Oh, there's an Anki over there. Oh, get away from me, Carno. This is oh, this is the Golden Realm. Okay. Let's just let's just get back home right now and start smelting our stuff. Thankfully, it looks like the ore transfers at a one-to-one -one ratio. Yeah, it does, because now we have 24 ingots and 51 glass. Let's make that spyglass right now wherever it is did i learn it yeah i did learn it oh uh, maybe we need to i think we might need the workbench bam hey we've got a per wow we've almost got a perfect amount of room in this house for all the stuff that we need if not i guess i could have also broken that all right here we go and uh tools copper there we go yes and then we could just make that and now we have a spyglass amazing i'm gonna put that on four because i usually keep my spyglass stuff on four in all these games and let's see can i unlock the better tools now oh wow okay i guess we have to go into metallurgy for that yeah a kettle oh oh it's like a canteen well i don't even know how to work the normal canteen so i probably shouldn't make that but let's go ahead and make these and yeah we can make copper armor now but it's a little expensive Expensive. I'm not sure if I want to do that. This looks like a bone sword. Very cool. We already have a copper sword, so we don't need to make that. Plus, I'd rather use my bow until we can get into magic stuff. I'm really curious about magic. Um, What did I just make? I just made a better pickaxe and axe, right? No, I unlocked them. So we actually do have to go ahead and make those now. Okay. Whoa. We can make the raptor claws. That's crazy. How much? Wow, they do a decent amount of damage. 28? How much does a bow do? So a bow does 15. Raptor claws can be pretty nice. Oh, dude, the Dodicker's hammer does 55. Turtle shell shield? Oh, so, okay, so check this out. So they, so you make these with the raptor claws. I'm guessing that creatures have a certain chance to drop their specific rare items. Like, I, I doubt we'll get a raptor claw with every raptor we kill. So maybe the raptor claws that we got are just really rare. Let me know if the raptor claws are a good weapon. Well, actually, we can go ahead and compare it to our, to the, yeah, to the copper sword. So the copper sword is 25. So it is a better weapon than the copper sword. So we might as well make it then because... We do have the claws and they oh but these have durability oh so does the copper sword though okay interesting let's see what these look like oh this is kind of cool what's the attack speed okay well I, I guess yeah it makes sense that it's a fist weapon that's really cool though either way is there anything else we need to do oh yeah, let's test out the spyglass so i'm guessing it works just like a normal one yeah but you can see the health and torpor of creatures that's really good okay Oh, yes. And that zoom level is really good, too. Oh, we can see things so far away. Amazing. And now we have copper armor. We really didn't need to waste time making that leather, I guess. We upgraded so quickly. 
All right, and uh, yeah, look at that. It says that they are primitive too, so we can maybe get better tiers of things. Is that it? No, where are our gloves? Here we go. All right. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I can just throw my character around, but yes, look at us. Well, armored. This looks pretty cool for just a copper set, honestly. Let's go ahead and throw away the leather. I doubt we're gonna need that, and I doubt we're gonna need that. All righty, peeps. I'm feeling pretty good. Wow, we had almost the perfect amount of copper for that. All right, before I end things off, I want to, well, first of all, I want to hit up that drop over there. And then I, I think I kind of want to try and get a Beezle Buffo. Because I don't know if they apply Torpor or not in this. And if it's an effective way of taming. Oh, God, we're freezing. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. This place has like a billion raptors, though. And now we're automatically warm again. <laughs> This game has the same temperature issues as Ark, at least. Level 80, that's a pretty decent raptor. Is that a piece of buffo? It is. Okay, uh, spyglass. And, oh, the tree, no. All right, here we go. 12, definitely don't want to level 12. I, th I think these are like portal things. I don't really want to go through one of these portals because if it takes us somewhere and we get lost, then that would really suck. Oh gosh, Daydon fighting the turtles. It's so interesting to me that uh, the turtle is only one danger level under the Daydon. That turtle, that, that, yeah, that turtle just beat that Daydon. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're in the swamp. If we're gonna find frogs, this is where we would do it at, I'm assuming. What is this? What? Okay. This is a relatively safe area. What is this resource? Oh, look how much sharper the pickaxe looks now. We can get it. Sulfur. Okay. And what is this? This is... Oh, iron! Oh, yes! I'm, take, I'm, get, I'm taking all this iron home. I'm taking all... Oh, I hear frog. Oh, yeah, Guanadon, don't do that to me. <laughs> okay, but iron! This is huge to find a giant iron vein like this. This is so much iron! Our equip load is full. We have a hundred something iron. I can't even jump anymore. Wait, we can level up. Wait. <laughs> and now we can jump. Amazing. All right. Oh, no. Will our Tyranidon be able to take all this home, though? Do you have enough weight? She does. Tyranidon's OP. Oh, God. All right. We're going to have to try and fight this guy. No. Flappy just died, dude. Oh. I tried to kill this Beezle Buffo and Flappy just got obliterated. No. I, dude, the Beezle Buffo is a monster then. How much health do you have? Oh my gosh. It's, it doesn't even have that much health. What? Why would, why were you so strong? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna we've gotta avenge Flappy. That's, that's not fair. Flappy was the only good Tyranid on here. Oh, wow. Okay. The bow shoots so far. All right. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got him. He's burning. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I, thought, I thought we would do much more damage than that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. I don't want to go near the ouch. Oh, oh, yeah. It definitely increases your torpor. Okay. Will that knock me out? Where's my torpor bar? Oh, I see it. It's not rising, though. No, stop, leave me alone. I can't even go in the water to slow it down because it's a frog. Oh, we got it. <sighs> or, or detector, a magic workbench, and a magical sleepy arrow. Okay, let's go ahead and mine this. Oh, I'm so sad we lost Flappy. No. Oh, yeah, wait. We got to use this, the axe. I keep forgetting. Oh, we lost Flappy. Can't believe we lost Flappy. All right, we'll get that. Then we'll get the magic workbench. Actually, do we even need this? A magic sleepy arrow. That needs so much stuff to make. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're level 30 though. Dude, we've unlocked so much stuff. We have so many engram points. Whoa, a wooden wand. Wait, a basic magic wand used to collect magic ore. So you need the wands to get magical ore? Interesting, gunpowder and, oh, whoops. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're not unlocking that thing. I'm so sad Flappy's dead. No. Oh, poor Flappy. All right, we need to get a new Flappy. Oh, man, I'm so sad. It's gonna take us so long to find another good Pteranodon. They're so uncommon. Yeah, that's only level four. <laughs> oh, the pain. We're gonna have to go on like a killing spree of all these Pteranodons so we can spawn a high level. Oh, here's a level 90. 
You know what? I level, I'll, I'll take a level 90. That's still a pretty decent level. How many... Okay, we have a ton of sleep arrows. We're going to have to, like, shoot this guy a bunch to get him knocked out. No. Ugh. We have to wait for him to land again. There's no way we'll be able to knock him out if he's flying. Oh. Okay. This looks like our chance. I want to shoot him towards this way. All right. Come on. All right. You should be knocked out from that. Yes. We got a headshot. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Per perfect. All right. Let's go ahead. Put on the normal arrow. Because I think the normal arrows do better headshot damage. And we can go ahead and do a bit of that. Whoo! All right. We're going to get a flappy back. Yay. We have a new Pteranodon. All right, well, I, you know what? I guess if I'm going to be doing a little mini series on this, I'll let you peeps name him. Oh, we got to kill this one. Watch All right, and... Will that hit? Nope. Ugh. All right, here you go. Here's your saddle. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sad. It's so much weaker than Flappy. Oh, I can make a tent. Why would I want to make a tent? I guess, I guess we can cover from the elements, but... Oh, lame. And there's a windstorm going on. Oh, there's a raptor and another frog here. Uh, six and 20. All right. Very sad. All right, peeps. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here with our brand new Flappy that you guys are going to be able to name. So, yes, leave your name suggestions in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.